If you're using spreadsheets to manage your parts and inventory, we want to provide you with the free parts and inventory spreadsheet in this video. Here's Zach from Fleetio to help you get the most out of our spreadsheet. As a fleet manager, you deal with a lot of moving pieces. And one of the things that can often get overlooked is your spare parts inventory. People will either order too much of one part and you're cutting into budget that could be used elsewhere, or they'll forget to reorder a part and suddenly you have a piece of equipment that's stuck on the shop floor waiting on a part to come in. A great way to avoid these issues is by tracking your parts inventory with a parts inventory spreadsheet. To help you get started, we've created a free spreadsheet template that you can download at the link in the video description below. We'll use this video to talk through how to input the parts that matter to you and how to customize that spreadsheet so that it works for you. But before we do that, I want to remind you that we have several free tools available for you at fleetio.com tools. I'll put that link in the video description below. And don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date on any future tools that we release. When you open the link to our parts inventory spreadsheet, you'll notice that it's currently set to view only. To start editing its contents for your fleet, you'll need to go to file and select make a copy. Give it a unique name to your company and you're ready to start working. If you'd like to give other people access, Google Sheets makes it easy to share the working document with anybody in your organization. Before we start adding to the inventory list, you'll want to select the Categories sheet from the tabs at the bottom. This is where you'll predefine your main categories and the inventory items that fall into each category. We've created a few standard items, but if you want to add an item to a category, like say an ice scraper in the miscellaneous category, you can type that below so your team knows to include it there. If you rename or add a category in row 5, it'll automatically be added to the drop-down list in column C of the inventory list. Once you're done defining your inventory categories and items, you're ready to add vehicles to your vehicle list. Go to the Vehicle List tab at the bottom. You'll see that we've added a few in to show you the general functionality of the sheet. Currently, this list includes the vehicle ID, the year, make, and model of the vehicle. If you'd like to add more information, just add a category in row 4. Once you've defined your parts categories and vehicle list, it's time to start adding inventory items to the inventory list. Select the Inventory List tab, and you'll see that we've already added in a few items to show the general functionality of the spreadsheet. Unlike the previous two sheets that you've edited so far, this sheet is built to perform calculations and pull numbers automatically. To get the most out of this spreadsheet, you only need to input information in the cells that are shaded green. All other information will update automatically. We'll show you how to add a new part using this oil filter. The first column is where you'll input the part number. Copy and paste that part number into this cell. In the next column, you'll add the part name. Give it a unique name that allows you to distinguish it from other parts that you have in stock. For this one, we'll call it Motorcraft Engine Oil Filter with the part number. Use the category dropdown that you defined in the Categories sheet to select the part category. Give your part a generic name to help identify its function. Add the price of the part. If the part has a warranty period, you can select that checkbox and add warranty details. We see under the product warranty information that this has a two-year warranty for Motorcraft, so we'll add that right here. And as you can see, the next column is not shaded green, so it'll update automatically. I'll show you how that column functions later, so just go ahead and skip it for now. Add how many of the part that you have in stock and how many you have on order. The inventory and order values should update automatically. And if you look at the top of the spreadsheet, you'll notice that we have calculated your total inventory and order value as well. If you have a place in your shop where you store this part, you can add that information in the next column for future reference. And to make future purchases easier, use the link to order column to provide information for how people can purchase this part moving forward. For this specific part, we'll just include a direct link. We also included a column at the end in case you want to add notes about the specific part. For example, if this part replaced an old part in your inventory, or if you want to keep a certain amount of this part in stock, use this field for whatever best serves your team. If you need to remove a part from the inventory list, we recommend highlighting the whole row by clicking the number on the left. Right click and then select Delete Row. You will get this warning message telling you that you're removing an item in a protected range. Click OK to accept your change or cancel to keep the part in the inventory list. And that's it you've added a new part to your inventory list. By all means, you could only use this tab on the spreadsheet if you wanted and get quick insights into all the parts you use. 
but we also wanted you to be able to see which vehicles these parts go to so you can easily manage the entire process. Now we'll show you how to keep up with the corresponding vehicles for that part. You'll notice that we've created extra sheets at the bottom for individual parts categories. This is where you keep up with the vehicles that correspond to individual parts. Let's go over to the filter sheet to assign that part that we just added to a vehicle. Similar to the inventory list sheet, you'll only need to focus on the cells that are shaded green. The spreadsheet will automatically update the other information. So for this sheet, you need to start by typing the vehicle ID and the part number. We'll go to our vehicle list and select a vehicle ID, copy and paste it. Now let's go to the inventory list and select the part number, copy and paste that. You'll notice that by adding in just those two details, all the non-shaded cells have automatically updated to include the other details, such as vehicle make and model, and part name, cost, and quantity that we have in stock. We also added cells for you to include recent service information. You can track these parts by date or by mileage. For this one, we'll say that it was changed out at 20,000 miles and needs to be changed again at 23,000 miles. You can also add any relevant notes for the part in the last column on this sheet. Now that you've assigned the part to a specific vehicle, go back to the inventory list sheet and you'll see that your vehicle count for that part has automatically updated. It'll continue to do that as you assign more and more vehicles to that part in the category sheets. Once you've added in all of your parts inventory information, your team can go to a parts category sheet and search for a vehicle by ID, going to edit, find and replace, put your vehicle ID in this field, and then select Find, and your team can immediately see all parts information corresponding to that vehicle. Once a part is used and removed from inventory, go back to your inventory list and update the column that says In Stock. If you order more parts, you can keep track of it, and as parts come in, you can move them from On Order to In Stock. Spreadsheets are a great way to start tracking valuable fleet information, such as parts inventory and maintenance history, but they often require duplicated efforts on your part. Fleetio's parts management system allows you to track fleet parts and supplies with ease by using the built-in barcode scanning app. It also allows you to track parts usage over time and get helpful alerts to avoid the extra shipping charges that come with last minute purchases. Whenever you're ready to make the switch from spreadsheets to fleet management software, you can easily import all of your parts information from our spreadsheet template into the platform to get you up and running quickly. If you'd like to learn more about Fleetio or see if it'll work for your fleet, Schedule a product demo or start your free trial today.